Man, you guys are fucking Hank of the Hill fucking quiz nerds, aren't ya? you? You just well, say Hank of the Hill, boy. Don't even don't even start. We're talking about a possible reboot here. I'm hyped. Let's go. But let's go. Would you guys rather the like the the new show being a prequel or a sequel? Like like would you like would you rather see the old gang or like? see the characters but just younger because they could just like in their high school time yeah, like, like all the all time. those with fucking and you get to see nah. his dad no because we get flashbacks really. yeah that's it we that's do we but we could just have a whole show of all flashbacks the, some of the rumors say it's gonna do a time jump it's gonna be in the future oh, that's man. what it that's what he is saying that's what a lot of people are saying but he's just saying some are saying yeah some say 15 years but i don't know if i believe that it yeah. seems like a lot honestly it'd be pretty like it, it does make sense to to do it in the future because it's up it's up to like current events so like then they could just ride off yeah like, off of culture shit just like how they were riding off of culture shit back like when they first started making it so it's just a, it's a pop culture show that makes fun of like fucking what hank doesn't like yeah, he's like, a good old. He's a good old boy. It's a, it's how, a how is he gonna deal? So how, no, how are they gonna deal with today's time? Because is exactly is like just based around today's time. Well, it relies on stereotypes heavily. Oh yeah, for sure. Which I it's funny. I enjoy it, but like people are gonna get all shook about it. Oh yeah. Like it's, uh... it's be, like you said like earlier, fucking it's it's the one percent that's always the loudest, and so. The fucking mob. I think people are starting to figure that out, though. I feel like a lot of this kind of like social it's justice all, thing, all people are like bite. getting over it. Gonna really take effect in this show? If, if no, man I don't think so. Show? I think it's just. I don't think it will. They say they say it might be. Because I don't all, think it will be woke washed. It'll do like topics and stuff. Because dude, they could totally bring about Dale going to actually Area Fifty One invasion. They could <laughs> bring that up. <laughs> they could. They could bring that up. He was the, the raid. one that started that. He was the one that started. Oh that. my yeah. fucking oh, god, fucking dude, that's amazing. You yeah, please. He, start that. Started the Area 51 <laughs> he, he was the one. That All started right, the Joseph, we're going to Area 51. He, he got a, he got a Facebook. He got a MySpace. He, he's the guy that can <laughs> yeah, but it says Rusty Shackleford. Sure, it's the Shackleford. <laughs> No, that would be fucking, you're right. No, I think they're going to do, like, modern stuff. I just think yeah. they're going to stay away from, like, trying to, like, teach people a message with the yeah. more new wavy shit, you know? They're well, still going to try to do what they did in the original series. Yeah, well, what did he What did he do with Beavis and Butthead? Beavis and Butthead is just goofy, bro. I think it just got tanked. I don't know. I think they ran No, no Beavis and, no, dude, it has a whole movie. It's oh, been shit. rebooted several times. It has a new season, I think. Like, they, nah. Dude, yeah, they I, gave the oh, opening no. to it's the Jackass good. 3, bro. And I'm pretty sure almost Jackass 4. No, Beavis and Butthead's doing great. Mike Judge is doing good, man. He's doing good. Ever seen man. Office Space? No. Office Space is the shit. You gotta watch that. You think, uh, you think Dale and Nancy uh, are still gonna be together? You think they're gonna be divorced? You think Dale's ever gonna find out? With all this like fucking he, consp he, dude, conspiracy he knew shit. The whole time he knew the yeah. whole time. Yeah, that's my thing. I think he knew the whole time, and I kind of think he's secretly gay because it's kind of alluded to in some episodes. One in particular, when uh Hank and Peggy they like go out of town for some reason, and they ask Dale, I think, to bring in the mail, and just that. And then Dale and Bill they like dress up as fucking Hank and Peggy, and it's alluded kind of in the scene that they're fucking in Hank and Peggy's bed. And the police come and like find him and arrest him for breaking in. And there's a couple other things. I, f I forget. I'll, we might have to do like a whole thing about that. You know what we need but, to do? What about John Redcorn? Is what I was asking. You, do you think Nancy really stops seeing fucking John Redcorn? He just stays with Dale. Well, he has yeah. shown he has shown a lot of growth throughout the whole series of becoming. John I John hate John figure. Redcorn. Well, yeah, he's just he's just being sleazy, my guy. That's all he is. He doesn't really? give a, he doesn't give a crap. He knows that the, that's his kid, and he's just being blatantly obvious. Like they're he's a shitty person yeah. to Dale, just so she can get a reaction from him, and he's not reacting. Yeah, but he's not so thinking he about Joseph. If he actually cared about Joseph, he wouldn't be doing that shit. I kind of sure. felt like throughout the throughout the show, Jodder and Corn kind of got more like a guilty conscience about it. Yeah, because they started they started just together. accept it honestly. 
and just accepted it. Did he ever mention, like, the affair, basically? Many times, many times. Yeah. They joke about it. Yeah, they joke about it in the show, or in the, the boys. Everybody knows. Peggy was the last person to know. Yeah, she thought, he, like... She thought she knew everything, know. man. She thought she... I think he knows. Wrong. His dad's gay. Who knows? Hey. Oh, that's another hint. Mm -hmm. What about fucking Bill and Boomhauer, though? I think Bill's fucking dead. I totally, 100%. No, 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 he's coming back. He's coming back. The voice actor's coming back. I'm pretty fucking convinced that uh, everyone's Boomhauer coming back. is a fucking Except. U.S. Marshal, and he's, like, spying on... No, people. yeah, he's a Texas Ranger, dude. A Texas Ranger. He could yeah. be. He's he's a Texas Ranger. I don't know. Do you think he, he's probably married? Think they, do you think they're going to have Boomhauer be married if it's a time jump, or do you think he's still going to be a bachelor? No, he's gonna. I think he's definitely gonna be a bachelor. I don't know. Well, they're all in like their mid forties, like throughout the show. Yeah. So they're probably gonna be like fifty, almost sixty. Yeah, we'll have an old Hank. Uh, boo, boo. You think Bobby's gonna have his own kid? He might, dude. What if he's a comedian? He's either a comedian or a cook. He was born, born in nineteen fifty-five. One that didn't. Born Hour? Yeah. That shit makes me feel young. John Rancorn's oh, actually when the what show about left off. Crazy. Is that, are they just doing a time jump from where the time left off? No, the, the like time jump into the future. Watch, you know how they had the have the flashbacks. That's what time jump means. To like the the seventies and eighties, <sighs> when like Peggy and Hank met in high school and shit. In the in the in the first show, they do the the flashbacks back to like when like Bill like you know just their their fucking younger years. Do you think that the flashbacks for this new uh, rebooted King of the Hill would jump back to be the the old show, like the first show? Do you think it'd be? Like, yeah. Yeah, I feel like that would be. I think it might extend it, the story, yeah. Yeah. So what about Gracie? The voice actors for Lucky and Luann are both dead, and Gracie is their daughter. So are we going to see Gracie, just Gracie, or are we going to see a recasted Luann and Lucky? I'm pretty sure we're gonna see a cat recast. But it's Tom Petty and Britney fucking Murphy, we dude. Have to, or or Dude Lou Ann's or voice she's actress. Just, or I'm she's sorry. Just stuck. Or she just it's too stuck. too iconic. They could they could move to a different city. They could parallel uh the uh Lou Ann story yeah, and it, it have voice. Gracie move in with uh Hank and Peggy. Yeah, but they're gonna have to meet up, dude, because that's too. On Hank who's dad? Uh, Hank's dad, right? Hank's dad is dead. Oh, Cotton. Cotton's dead, but oh, Cotton's man. dead. We'll probably see his wife. Yeah, you'll see Dee Dee. And then be like, oh, good Hank. <laughs> Hi, Dave. It's good Hank. I don't know. How could they recast fucking Lucky in the land? They're too iconic. Tom Petty and fucking Brittany Murphy. They'll probably just be moved to a different city, and we'll see Gracie. So I just don't want him to change that much crazy? shit. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yes. You goon. How stoned are you? Don't lie to me. I'm I'm too I'm too dive depth and I'm on Reddit now about. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so am I. <laughs> I'm stuck on Reddit now, dude. On, like, they're Reddit talking too. about his. They're talking like, dude. They have a monologue about his life. They're, they're like, there's eight years of law enforcement and mm. nobody understands why he doesn't talk about it. There's fucking the Hank Hill's repressed closet you homosexual. <laughs> See, this is how I know you're not Secret true fans. Thing. I just watch the show and know all this weird shit. Yeah, I I don't have that good of a memory. And plus, I'm, I'm fucked. No, it was a bunch of people uh, wondering what's his pur purpose of still living in Arlen. Who? Boomhauer. Propane, my guy. Uh, Boomhauer, you know what? He probably just likes Texas. John Rancorn's oh, actually gay for Dale, but he's just trying to get it through his wife. There you go, see? They're just that, all gay. That's, that's the why. whole thing. That's how it's going to end. That's the new show. That's that's what it's going to be. Dude, I'm staring at this like whole like picture of the whole cast, and I never realized Cotton's like just grabbing Han's wife's ass, full-blown. Hey, that's what he'd be doing. That's Cotton yeah. for you. He's dead, though, you know? He Don't be too be shook. Again. He might come yeah. back a ghost. He could. He could be like hot and fucking Hank. Halloween special. Oh, oh damn it, Bobby. I'll eat your ass. Yeah, it's going to be a whole gay show. A whole gay king of the hill. Be all oh. He's going to hear that from the bedroom. Take it. Oh. 
Ooh. And it's going to be Peggy, Peg and Hank. That's why Peggy she's named Peggy. Peggy the Pegger. Yeah, Peggy the Pegger. Yeah, Peggy the Peggy, Paddle. I met Peggy the Hill in real yep. life. And I met Francine you... Smith. No, you did not. I met Francine Smith, dude. No, you fucking did not. Yes, I did, dude. It was it was insane. Where? At, at Where? My job, at my job. You're lying Walked to me. in and her name was Francine Smith, dude. Oh, my God. You're... I, I literally asked her, I'm like, oh, no way. Can I ask you what your husband's name is? And she was like, it's not Stan. And I'm like, ah. dude, she was like 50, 54, bro, or something like that. Matter, I'll guess. believe you. Yep, met Francine Smith, met Peggy Hill at GNC. I asked her if she knew about King of the Hill. She said, no, I have, I do not. I'm like, look it up. It's on Hulu. <laughs> it's, a show, it's a whole show about you, I promise you.